In this video, we will see how to scrape website content with Ruby language. Two tools that we need. First, HTTP client to request the content. And second is HTML parser to parse the raw body. First, for the HTTP client, we have several options. But we will use the built-in Ruby net HTTP package for this one. I will use net HTTP, so we will require the net HTTP package. And URL here is whatever URL we want to scrap, for example, google.com. And now for the HTML parser, we could use Nokogiri, one of the most popular package to parse the HTML. So we require Nokogiri. And for that, we need to install the Nokogiri itself. Before we use the Nokogiri package, since we use get response method, we are able to check if the response code returned 200 or not. If not, we could just put an error message with the response code and exit the program before ending the if statement. And now in the HTML parser, we could get parsed document with nokogiri HTML method and passing the body from the response that we got here. When we print the doc itself by running our Ruby file name, you could see here, I get all the google.com parsed raw data. Now you can get the specific part from this parsed HTML. If you look at the nokogiri package at GitHub, you could see they offer a method called CSS. It's not a CSS for styling, but rather to find any element or any nodes that we want in this raw data. In this sample, let's say we want to get any div that exists in this page. As you can see, it will print any div in this page. If we want to just get the content or the text, we can use the content attribute. Then it will print all the content each of this div. It might be not very useful for now. So let's take a look on a real example. Assume I want to tag all the subjects on this web 3 school site. First, what we need to do is see where your data located. For example, I have all what I need in this navigation. I will use in the browser inspect tool, then use the inspect element to see where they are located. Find a unique name as unique as possible for example it might be this one or this one see if i highlight the sub top nav id here it highlights all the contents that i want to scrape so this might be a good start for us i will take the sub top nav and back to our text editor now the site i want to scrape is web3schools.com and now i will get the id of the sub top nav so we will use a hashtag here then get the content let's see what we have now it did take all the content that we want, but we can clean it a little bit. All the content that I want to check is inside an A tag. So we can use the Nokogiri CSS method more specifically by pending A tag here. And let's run once again. Now I got all the data I want. I just need to space it nicely. So this is a simple real example of how you can scrap a content website with Ruby.